Hello everyone, I'm Enchanted Moon. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do an unboxing of Sacred Space Crate. It came in this box this time. And this is June's box. So, let's see. Ooh, this is what I see when I open it. I'll just hold it so it doesn't fall. Athena is our theme. I'm going to put the paperwork on the side because um, I don't want to know what's in it to the end. They, She did message us and said it was going to be late this month. So she um, emailed us uh, the link for this so we can copy this ahead of time, and which I did as well because I love this and I use this daily. So, now I have a thicker one, because mine's printed on, like, you know, the regular paper from the computer. So, this is, yeah. So, this is our June calendar. And I'm really glad, like I said, she did download it early, because I use this constantly. And this is the back with the Zodiac. So, very, very cool. And I will put this on the side. I don't know why, but oof, it's hot in here. Very, very humid. So the next thing on top is a prayer to Athena for wisdom. Very pretty. Oops. And then we have an invocation to Athena as well. Also very pretty. With the owl. And then we have purple tissue. And brown squiggies. And right on top we have some incense. It says Dragon's Blood, one of my favorite scents. Um, I'm thinking there's like eight sticks in here and they're like a reddish color. And that's the label. Mmm, smells good. I'm gonna put this up here. I don't know why I'm so hot. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to move these little squigglies out of the way for now. Because I end up getting them everywhere. Ah, there. Okay. I think we got a statue because I see a big box. So, I will open that last. We have the little goodies on the side over here, and I'm going to check those out. I see this weird thing. Oh my goodness, it's an owl. I don't know if that's broken or if that's the way it's supposed to be. It's an owl. Oh, this way. I believe that goes this way. There we go. This is the back. It's got um, a little thing here and like a little dent in there. So I don't know if that dent's supposed to be there or not. But it makes noise. Pretty cool. Then we have this, so I'm going to unwrap this. It is really humid today. Wow. Okay. Oh, just stab myself with that. That thing's sharp. Oh, I love these little jars. We have 
organic witch hazel leaf. Oopsie doopsie. There we go. Is that clear? And it's the cute little jars that stand on the side, which I think are cute. Nice little jar of witch hazel. We have this on top next. Ooh, this has mica in it. Dragon's Blood Ritual Oil. With the her symbol right here on top. And it's got the mica in it. That is cool. So we have that then we have this is really pretty Athena's wisdom spell crafted soy wax candle and it's in this little skinny tin like a little travel tin and in I can see it might be purple and has all like little crystals in it. There we go. Really pretty. And that's the label. So that is gorgeous. Mm. A very light smell. Maybe you can see this better now. Yeah, that is cool. So we got a little candle this time in a jar. Um, we have a dark purple shiny satin bag. And in this we have a bracelet which is hematite and amethyst with the goddess charm. There's your goddess charm. And hematite and amethyst. There's your hematite and then there is your amethyst. Let me see if that is better for you. Not really. It's really hard to see the different colors in here. But, let's see. There we go. And then it's got these little, like, cubic zirconias in the middle. I'm trying to figure out what's the best lighting here for you guys. There we go. So that's pretty cool. Um, we have a peppermint honey lip balm. Cute. Little lip balm. That might be it. Oh, we got our salve of the month is plantain for bites and stings. It's sweating from the heat. Ooh, yeah, that's sweating from the heat. So, guys, hope this isn't, if you have this outside, I hope it doesn't last that long outside. It'll be melted. Ooh. Smells, doesn't smell good, that's for sure. 
but it's a salve, so it's, I'm sure it's not supposed to smell good. It's medicine smelling. And is that it? Is that each? Is that each? Ah, one more bag. One more bag in here, and then we have the looks like the statue. All right, let me see what's in this. I'm sure it's some kind of crystal. Let's see. It feels pretty big. It's a hunk of looks like amethyst. Nice size. All right, and let's see what this statue looks like. I got so much statues, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them all. Okay. This here says Athena. Well, this is a definitely a, a great box for getting many pantheons into your space. All right, let's see what Athena looks like. Wow. Beautiful. Really nice. So, what I can see, definitely in her warrior pose, a nice beautiful owl in flight. Nice detail. Sword on the side here. I guess that's an arrow or another sword. Very, very cool. Definitely in her warrior aspect. And it does say on the bottom for sacred space. So this must be her design as well. So this is really cool. Okay, let's see what we got. Well, obviously we got the statue of Athena. Oh my goodness. And the paperwork is all about Athena. Okay. Goddess of Wisdom, War and Earth. Uh, and Craft, sorry. A favorite daughter of Zeus, Athena was perhaps the wisest, the most courageous, and certainly the most resourceful of the Olympian gods. Zeus was told that his son would take the, his throne from him, just as he had taken power from his father, Cronus. According, accordingly, when Metis was pregnant, he swallowed her, and Athena was born from Zeus's head, wearing armor and fully grown. A popular theme in ancient Greek art, Hippothias, I'm probably saying that wrong, I excuse my, I don't know, H-E-P-H-A-I-S-T-O-S, Hippothias is often depicted as the role of the midwife, splitting Zeus, Zeus's head with an axe. Athena worked by her father's side as his most trusted advisor. She always came out of war on the winning side. Athena often helped heroes like Jason and Perseus. She wore an Aegis, A-E-G-I-S, a goat skin shield, which had fringes of snakes. When Perseus killed the Gorgon Medusa, whose face turned men to stone, he had 
He gave the gorgon head to Athena, and the goddess placed it on her agis. agis. As we venture through this year's challenges, Athena is available to you to call upon in these times of need. There are times when we are faced with battles and challenges where carefully planning and strategy is crucial. Crucial. You can call upon Athena to aid you when developing your plan of attack or on the problem at hand. Always keep that in mind. Athena does not tolerate laziness or simply asking her to take care of something for you simply won't do. She expects hard work and courage to accomplish her plans for victory. Taking time to honor her is also beneficial so that when you need her, she simply will happily oblige. The items in this box were curated with the intention of helping you connect with Athena. And the Greek goddess Athena stands strong on a stony, this one is what she said, on a stony ground. At her right hand, she holds a spear, which represents victory. And it's downward position. On her left outstretched arm, her owl, who represents wisdom, is ready to cast off in flight. She wears ornate war armor as well as traditional helmet with plume. Her hair cascades from underneath her helmet down her shoulders. The armor from her shoulder and arm guards protect breastplate shin guards and decoratively portrayed and highlighted. Her leather battle skirt is accented with decorative belt from which hangs from her sheathed sword. Flowing behind her from her shoulders to the ground is a cloak billowing in the unseen wind. Statue stands nine inches tall and has been custom painted to match the statues in the Goddess series in the past month's boxes. It's starting to rain because I can hear it off my air conditioner. And then it goes into her symbols, her sacred animal, which is the owl, her, her symbols are the owl, owls, olive trees, snakes, armor, helmets, spears, and gorgion. Uh, her Roman name is Minerva. Siblings are Artemis, Aphrodite, the Muses, the Grace, Ares, Apollo, Dionysus, Hermes, Hercules, Helen of Troy, Hippatus, Minos, Perseus, Porus. All right, and then Owl Gourd Rattle has been handmade in Peru by artisans under the fair trade standards. After the gourds are harvested, the artisan removes the outer green skin with a dull knife, exposing the lighter brown underneath. The gourds are cleaned and dried in hot Peru Peruvian sun. The gourd is then carved and transformed into a rattle after it's hollowed out and filled with metallic rattling pieces. In shamanic practices, we use rattles in two ways of calling on the goddesses to clear space of unwanted energies before hands beforehand and then again to raise our vibration while calling out to us. Owls are considered a source of protection and owls accompany Greek armies to war. So that is the meaning behind this and for this box. That's pretty cool. I don't have nothing like that. Then it goes into the goddess Amethyst and Hematite bracelet. Hematite is great for grounding and Amethyst is good for many things like your third eye. Uh, what else? Protection, healing, uh, what do they have here? Amethyst allows you to open yourself to receive in, in, inherit wisdom. Um, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do. Okay. So that was our bracelet. Let me just grab that again so we can just go over real quick. There we go. The bracelet. Athena's wisdom candle. I spellcrafted this candle on May's full moon. To call upon Athena's wisdom as an offering. You can use this candle in various ways as an offering to her. Light it after you set up your altar or offering table. And light before meditating or plan of action. On a plan of action. This is curated with the soy wax. And it has dried witch hazel leaves. Which is powers, works through powers of divination when needed. And brings forth wisdom and enchantment. 
and amethyst stones allow you to open up to receive your inherent wisdom. Um, what else? It's sweet yet powerful protective energy encourages you to come to a higher space of response rather than an emotionally charged one, which was this beautiful thing. I like that she's changing it up a notch. And then it's scented with white musk, which is a call to the ancient wisdom. And quartz, obviously quartz is known for it. Power and amplifies energy of intention. Then we got this cool dragon's blood ritual oil with the, I know, mica in here. Um, it's very powerful for protection. In fact, it's one of the most powerful ingredients in any type of ritual. Drop a few drops in every corner of your home for protection and to banish negative energy or performing your candle divination. Anoint purple candles for power. Uh, black to get rid of negative energy or people or just add to any spell to enhance it. The ingredients in here are dragon's blood resin, olive oil, sacred to Athena, dragon's blood essential oil, and mica. And it's good for grounding and raising vibration. Oh, and then this. I thought it was amethyst. They say this is fluorite. Um, I would never have guessed this being fluorite. Ah, on the bottom I see fluorite. That is definitely fluorite. This looks like amethyst, but maybe it could be both, or maybe that's just a purple part of the fluorite. Well, that's pretty cool. I see the fluorite here. It has the green and the... Wow, Okay. Got me there. Fluorite supports spirituality and thought, focus and concentration, and balance in aspects in one's life. Known as the genius stone, fluorite represents the high state of mental achievement, boosting aptitude and discernment. The, absorb the absorption of new information and helping one work through complex issues. The stone was charged at May's full moon. Ooh, benefits. Helps ADD and ADHD. Arthritis, bone disorders. There's It goes on, but wow, that's great. Dragon's blood incense sticks. Our ancestors have believed that sacred smoke raises vibrations and assists with magical practice. So when we smudge today, we also connect with the lineage in a powerful way. Our Egyptian and Roman ancestors perfumed the air with incense they burned. Dragon blood is one of my favorite scents. If you find it musty, deep, I find it's musty, deep, and slightly sweet scent, intoxicating and sensory and sexy. Me too. I love dragon's blood. Then the invocation to Athena. And then the prayer to Athena. These are great to put in our book of shadows. Um, what did I miss? Oh, the beautiful zodiac calendar, as always. And bonus items. Well, these items may not go with the theme of the box. I wanted to include them. Because using Earth Magic for healing and beauty products is based on my practice and I enjoy making them for you. This month I included both healing products also along with healing and beauty. I have the Plantain Healing Salve. Uh, it's good for reducing the swellness and relie relieves pain. Effective pain reliever and anti-inflammatory. Effective against stings and insects, but insect bites. Re re relieves pain associated with plantar fasciitis and tired to feet. Reduces swelling and wards off infection. Heals cuts, scrapes, skin ulcers, and boils. And stimulates coagulating response, responses to stop bleeding. So we have that. And then the peppermint lip balm. She is also. And the only thing I did not 
which I probably missed, was the herb. All right, let me. The gourd, bracelet, the candle, the ritual stone. Ah, yes, I just missed it. Witch hazel, herb in a bottle. Although all of these would seem more like it would be perfect herb for it to represent Athena, since it's sacred to her, I wanted to include a magical herb that would be more useful during battle and planning it with wisdom. Witch hazel could be more effective for perf. Witch hazel could be more perfect magical herb for this. As I stated above in the candle description, witch hazel works through powers of divination when needed, bringing forth wisdom and enchantment, and also brings inspiration and healing. Burn some witch hazel leaves or to banish unwanted emotions and remove hexes, disease, and general negativity, or place it in the sachet to remove hexes or mend a broken heart. So we have that. So that's the box for June. Um, as always, I think it's a great box. Um, and I can't work. I'm not familiar with Athena, but I, I haven't worked with her that often. But I'm going to see what I can do and see if I can work with her for divination purposes. Um, I don't know if she tells us what's in store for next month. Oh, she did. I want to thank you for your patience this month and waiting for the box. I had an important item that held up the shifting, shift, shifting, shipping for the last past month. That caused me to get them out later than usual. But I really believe everything happens for a reason. I'd like to get these boxes out early so that you can use your moon and zodiac calendars. So I hope everyone already had received their emails at the beginning of the month. I did. And I'm glad. And I printed my calendar. Thank you very much. Um, next month's theme is Yama. Yama. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, please hit subscribe and notification bell so you guys can find out when I do more of my videos. I'm um, leaving my email. So, if you guys have any ideas for me, please leave me all your opinions, your ideas. Email me then. Let me know. And I will leave the information about this box on the bottom. Until next time, guys. See you later. Bye.